God bless you. This is Pastor Kiris, your radio, your streaming, and your Facebook pastor. I have come to the conclusion that we as ministers of the gospel can no longer just sit back and allow this dreaded, awful, ugly, mean disease threaten the armies and the city and the church of the living God. He's ugly. He's mean like Goliath. But there are some Davids among us who have been well equipped. We must come down now out of the mountain. We must come out of our prayer closets and we must challenge Corona-19. I'm extending an invitation to all the pastors around the CSR area to come and use our facilities here at Gospel of Deliverance. You may use our streaming, our Facebook equipment. If you have a message to attack this dreaded demon, I want to say to the saints of God and to the community of God, put on the whole armor of God that you might withstand the devil. Do not be afraid. I want you to fight him with your faith, fight him with your doctor, your nurses. I want you to fight him with hospitals, uh, with your medicine and with your prescription. Don't sit back and wait on a miracle. Cause a miracle to happen. Take care of your body. The Lord said, fight, and I will give you victory. I'm the Lord thy God, and I will be with thee. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, I want to thank you now for your divine protection and your wisdom. I want to thank you for those who said, I am a child of God, and I'm depending on God's help. And I pray and thank you for the wisdom that you have given us to fight this dreaded enemy. Amen. I want to encourage you again that if you find yourself with any type, uh, you know, nausea or fever, to get yourself checked. Don't stay home holding the Bible. Just like when your body needs food, you go to the, 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 the market and pick up food. You don't go to heaven to get uh, bacon and pork chops and potatoes. And so it is that the body all times will need medicine. It will need doctors. It will need nurses. And uh, so you want to make sure that you and I uh, stay in compliance. We want to make sure that we stay safe and not be uh, careless because we are children of God. And even now at the service, what we're doing is taking extra precaution for those who will come in and worship to make sure that our facility is sanitized and that there's safe distance and praise the Lord because this dreaded enemy is no respect to a person. He will attack anybody. And uh, if you happen to know someone that's really going through and they have a food problem, uh, I want you to have them to give me a ring to call me at area 803 uh I forgot the rest of my number. 8225. 8225. Area 803-292-8225. And we're going to see that you get some food. We're going to do everything we can to join with the community and to join with other churches to fight this dreaded, ugly monster. Now, I, again, I want to extend to pastors that know me and I don't know you. Let's, you and I join together. Use that number, area 803-292-8225. Call me. Let's you and I get together and fight this demon. Let's you and I get together and put food packages together. Let's enhance our community with courage. And let's enhance them with hope and faith in tomorrow that we are going to be overcomers. I don't feel in my spirit that America is ever going to be normal again or be the norm that we have known. I don't feel like coming to church is going to be as we have known it. It's a new normal now. And so we are going to have to change and we're going to have to consult the wisdom of God and we're going to have to come together and strengthen one another and encourage one another for this battle is not ours, it's the Lord's. And we're gonna fight it with the wisdom of God. God bless you, don't forget if I can help you in any way, please call me, area 803-292-8225. Let's do something about people who are struggling in our community. 
who don't have food. Let's stop just hollering over the pulpit and speaking in tongues and jumping. I want to invite all the small churches and pastors around the area that feel hopeless and helpless. Let's unite. Let's bring our forces together and, and let's become a mighty army and move on this demon of hunger and lack at this hour. And I think we can make a difference. And I think heaven will smile upon us and we'll walk under a great anointing. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer. May the Lord draw you close to his bosom until you can feel his heartbeat come in the vicinity of his divinity until you bring change. Amen. God bless.